What is up guys? This is Eli Beaverson Golf and today I'm going to be testing the TaylorMade TP Black up against the TaylorMade TP5X. So guys, I've done a couple of these old versus new golf ball reviews. You can watch those up here in the corner. The TP Black golf ball released in 2006. It was designed by Dean Snell, also designer of the My Tour Ball Black and Red, which I have reviewed. I'll also put that up in the corner right now. It is a three-piece, 322 dimple designed golf ball, and it was designed at its time to compete against the Pro V1X from Titleist. The TP5X is TaylorMade's newest golf ball release. It's a five-piece model. It also has 322 dimples on it. So I'll be comparing these and seeing how much has changed in the last 12 years. I'll be comparing these both on the putting green in terms of feel, then I'll head over the short game area and kind of see how much different they are in terms of feel and spin. And then on the golf course, I will be testing them out with distance, um, flight, height of shot, things like that. So guys, let's get right into the review. So guys, first I'm gonna hit a few putts with these. Just seeing how soft they feel. Generally, I prefer a softer feel. So first up with the TP Black. It's pretty firm. I don't know if you could tell by the sound or not. Pretty firm as well. So they, I would say they're both really firm, but I'll hit a few more. Okay, I'm gonna hit a couple of, oh, about 30 footers with these, just so you can see the differences in sound. So here's the TP Black. Now the TP5X. To be fair guys, I don't think a whole lot has changed in terms of feel. So let's head to the short game area and see if anything is different over there. It didn't feel terrible, it was firm, but neither of these golf balls is really supposed to be soft. So I have to keep that in mind. TP5X definitely came out a little bit lower. It seemed to have a bit more spin. To be honest guys, I think they performed very similarly over here. If anything, maybe the TP5X spun just that little bit more, but it wasn't a whole lot for sure. So let's see how much different they are on the golf course. Okay, I've made it out to the golf course now and I have set myself up with a nearly full sand wedge shot. There's a backstop behind it a little ways and I'm into the wind. So we'll see how accurate I can hit these shots. So first up, we'll go with the TP Black. I'm mainly looking for differences in peak height and how they're launching and to see if it's coming up low with spin or high with not so much spin. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for with these wedge shots. Felt pretty firm there. But it looks like it's real close to the hole. All right, now for the TP5X. That was a pretty high flight, I would say, from the uh, TP Black. Wow, just as high from the Taylor Mage TP5X too, that's right at it. Just short, actually. Just short. All right, let's get up there and see how they ended up. Well, guys, as it ends up, there is the TP Black. And pretty much parallel to it is the TP5X. So actually, both of them are just short of the green. They both flew remarkably high, probably higher than I would want with the breeze hurting me. All right, I am at a nice little par three playing about 160. I'm gonna take a nice smooth seven iron and we'll see how these golf balls play out with a mid iron shot. That's flag high right, not a bad result for as poorly struck as that was. Very similar strike, that was just a little bit better, and that seems to be a lot higher. All right, here's the TP Black's pitch mark and golf ball. 
It's about flag high. That's a really good result for as mediocre of a strike as that was. And there's the TP5X. It's only about maybe 20 feet further up than the TP Black, but right on line. I can't believe how high the TP5X flies, and it does feel a bit softer as well. So now for the long drive contest. A long straight par four here. I want you guys to comment down below which golf ball will go further and by how many yards. Well guys, here they are. Here's the TP Black, and there's the TP5X, about seven yards up in front of it. Those are two really nice drives, and let's recap this whole test. So guys, to me, the biggest things between the 2006 TP Black and the modern day TP5X are, I would say the TP5X feels just a little bit softer, flies just a tad bit higher, and has just a little bit less side spin. But overall, between them, there wasn't a whole lot of difference. Let me know down below, what did you think of the differences? Do you play TP5X and have you played the TP Black in the past? Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it does help me in the search engine to make this video easier to find for people and subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video.